In this video, we are going to discuss the sum of positive numbers the user is going to enter and the sum of negative numbers with a couple of conditions. The first condition is it says you need to add the sum of positive numbers only when the input number is greater than 100 and also find the sum of negative numbers which are lesser than minus 50. And the program imposes one more condition it says when the user enters 0 you are required to print the sum of positive and sum of negative taking into consideration the conditions mentioned. So suppose your input looks something like this. So what I will do is I will take 200 add it to the sum of positive numbers. I will take minus 62 add it to the sum of negative numbers. I will not consider 3 because it is not greater than 100. I will again take minus 51 and add it with minus 62. So roughly it becomes I believe minus 113. Then next when I see 205 I will add 200 the old value so it becomes 405 and when 0 is entered I will print the sum of positive numbers as 405 the sum of negative numbers as minus 113. So what I need to do in order to solve this problem is I need to have a variable called as number to get a number from the user and then make a decision whether it is positive or negative. Sum positive is a variable which is used to hold the sum of all positive numbers greater than 100. Sum negative is used to hold the sum of all negative numbers less than minus 50. The reason why I have initialized these two numbers to 0 is because when I see 200 I am going to say sum positive is equal to sum positive plus 200. So if this is not given a value if it takes a random value you will not get the correct of some positive numbers. Number I don't bother to give it any value because every time the user is going to enter a new value even if the computer gives us some random value that value will be overwritten when the user enters a number. Now what I am going to do here is I am going to think of using the repeat until loop. In the repeat until loop what I am going to do here is I am going to read a number then only if the number is 0 then I am going to come in the last step here and what I am going to do here is I am going to print sum of positive numbers is sum pause and sum of negative numbers is sum negative. Now between this repeat and until I need to take two decisions. The first decision is if this number is greater than 100 then I am going to add this number to some positive. Else if the number is less than minus 50 I am going to add the number to some negative. So let's try to take a look at the logic. So if number is greater than 100 then I am adding the old value of some positive with the number. Initially some positive is 0 so it will be 0 plus number which happens to be in this case 200. Now else if number is less than minus 50 then I am taking the sum of negative and adding the sum negative old value plus number and this thing is going to continue until I hit a 0. When I hit a 0 step number 3 is going to work out sum of positive numbers step number 4 sum of negative numbers. Let's run through this program through some data. So at step number 1 sum positive is 0 sum negative is 0 for number I have not given it any initial value so it's going to be question mark whatever the computer assigns that value is going to be held and it is not important because when I read the number even if it is question mark it will be replaced with 200 the first time. So I read 200 since 200 is greater than 100 sum positive becomes 0 plus 200 so this fellow becomes 200 now. Negative sum has not changed it remains 0. Then next time what happens is I am reading number as minus 62 which is minus 62 here. Minus 62 greater than 100 is false. 
but is minus 62 less than minus 50 this is true so what is going to happen is some negative is 0 plus minus 62 so negative sum is equal to minus 62 then I read 3 nothing changes when I read 3 because this condition is false as well as this condition is false then what happens is I end up reading minus 51 when I read minus 51 minus 51 is greater than 100 this is false minus 51 is less than minus 50 yes it is true so what I am going to do is some positive doesn't get affected some negative is the old value minus 62 plus minus 51 so it happens to be minus 113 then I read 205 when I read 205 what is going to happen is 205 is greater than 100 so the old value of positive sum was 200 plus 205 is 405 now some positive is 405 then next time I hit the number 0 when I hit 0 I read the number 0 is 0 greater than 100 is false is 0 less than minus 50 is also false now since 0 is equal to 0 this condition becomes true and since it's a repeat until loop it will come out of this this will come out of this and it will print some positive as 405 some negative as minus 113 so that will be your output I hope you have understood this particular logic in order to get a better idea of it take your own set of numbers download this particular algorithm run through the logic and verify whether you are getting the same result as what you have done in the assignment so it is important to do the testing because then only you will know whether your output is correct or not you can draw this testing manually do it separately and then run through the test using the logic and see if you are getting the same results if they are the same then you are on good track